Welcome to a Grace Digital presentation. In this video, we shall be discussing living wisely. Almost everywhere you turn in the Bible, it seems like the scriptures have so much to say on the subject of wisdom. In fact, the Son of God himself, Jesus Christ, is referred to as the wisdom of God. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. 1 Corinthians 1, 22-24, KJV Here are also a few striking things that the Bible has to say about wisdom. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul. He that keepeth understanding shall find good. Proverbs 19, 8, KJV How much better is it to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? Proverbs 16, 16, KJV And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Isaiah 33, 6, KJV so what is this wisdom that brings stability and strength in an extremely troubled world? Wisdom is the choice of those who are diligent and who seek great heights. It is also the choice of those who want their lives to count for something and want to live lives that give glory to God. The Bible says wisdom should be sought after than the most precious jewels because it gives stability to lives and strengthens the salvation of people. Wisdom will always lead men and women to invest their destinies in such a way that it becomes profitable for the master. Wisdom has the ability to decide the quality of decisions that we take. Wisdom will always lead us to the right choices that will eventually keep us far from regrets. So how do we manifest this godly wisdom? Simply by loving and obeying God's instructions. This was the case with the children of Israel, as we see in the scriptures below. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is wise and understanding people. Deuteronomy 4, 5-6, KJV We see the preacher in the book of Proverbs extolling the virtues of wisdom. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. Counsel is mine in sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me, kings reign, and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. Riches and honor are with me. Yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold. Yea, than fine gold. And my revenue than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the path of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. Proverbs 8, KJV Therefore, it is obvious that wisdom is a deep treasury that everyone that seeks a life of exploits needs to draw from. Another way to access wisdom is through prayer. God invites us to seek Him directly when we are wisdom deficient. If any of you needs wisdom to know what you should do, you should ask God, and He will give it to you. God is generous to everyone and doesn't find fault with them. When you ask for something, don't have any doubts. A person who has doubts is like a wave that is blown by the wind and tossed by the sea. James 1, 5 through 6. Just the way young Solomon asked God sincerely for wisdom. 1 Kings 3, Father David. But I am only a little child and do not know how to carry out my duties. Your servant is here among the people you have chosen, a great people, too numerous to count or number. So give your servant a discerning heart to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong. 
for who is able to govern this great people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon had asked for this. So God said to him, Since you have asked for this, and not for long life or wealth for yourself, nor have asked for the death of your enemies, but for discernment in administering justice, I will do what you have asked. I will give you a wise and discerning heart, so that there will never have been anyone like you, nor will there ever be. Moreover, I will give you what you have not asked for, both wealth and honor, so that in your lifetime you will have no equal among kings. And if you walk in obedience to me and keep my decrees and commands, as David your father did, I will give you a long life. Then Solomon awoke, and he realized it had been a dream. He returned to Jerusalem, stood before the ark of the Lord's covenant, and sacrificed burnt offerings and fellowship offerings. Then he gave a feast for all of his court. But we can also be privileged recipients of the wisdom bank of others, as was the case of Joshua and Solomon. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him, and did as the Lord commanded Moses. Deuteronomy 34, 9, KJV Through the mystery of the laying on of hands, Moses imparted the spirit of wisdom to Joshua. This empowered him for leadership over God's people to bring them to the promised land. Solomon was equally a beneficiary of David's prayer for wisdom. After he was chosen by God for the throne, David backed Solomon with his prayers and counsel. And Solomon turned out the wisest king of all times. Now, my son, the Lord be with thee, and prosper thou, and build the house of the Lord thy God, as he hath said of thee. Only the Lord give thee wisdom and understanding, and give thee charge concerning Israel, that thou mayest keep the law of the Lord thy God. Then shalt thou prosper, if thou takest heed to fulfill the statutes and judgments which the Lord charged Moses with concerning Israel. Be strong and of good courage, dread not, nor be dismayed. 1 Chronicles 22, 11-13, KJV However, we must remember that God is the ultimate source of divine wisdom which makes life worth living. Let us now look at some of the different ways that God's wisdom can drive us to live profitably. Number 1. Wisdom stirs us to prepare for the future. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took their oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom was tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough of us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Matthew 25, 1-10, KJV The days we live in are perilous times, as for order seems to be falling apart. Well-crafted plans bow daily to unforeseen and unexpected circumstances that spring up daily. However, those operating in God's wisdom cannot be caught unawares, as they have made arrangements above and even beyond their expectations. These prepared virgins were able to achieve their desire of meeting the bridegroom and entering the marriage feast because they were wise. Number 2. Wisdom brings enlargement and expansion. Through wisdom is a house builded, and by understanding it is established. And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Proverbs 24, 3-4, KJV The building of anything worthy of note is anchored on wisdom. Without it, no great enterprise, business, career, life, or home can have a sound foundation to stand on. Building with the wisdom of God means building with His counsel, so that all will last long. 
Number three, wisdom empowers us to win battles and take territories for God's glory. This wisdom have I seen also under the sun, and it seemed great unto me. There was a little city and a few men within it, and there came a great king against it and besieged it, and built great bulwarks against it. And now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that same poor man. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroyeth much good. Ecclesiastes 9, 13 through 15 and 18, KJV. Wisdom has a way of equipping the most unlikely person to be the solution provider. Wisdom will always excel over physical strength at every point. Number 4. Wisdom equips us with discretion and excellence to serve at our assignments. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Proverbs 8, 12 in 15 through 17 KJV. Wisdom can help us discover things that are hidden from the non-discerning eyes. Secret things that will enhance the quality of a life are easily known. For instance, leadership is one of the most demanding and challenging tasks that confront societies. Leading men and managing people can drain even the most qualified human. However, those in authority can rule effectively and successfully by deposits of wisdom. To be able to rule with justice demands a rich supply of divine wisdom. Number 5. Wisdom enlarges the capacity of our mind and enhances our productivity. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much, in largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country, and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all men, than Ethan the Ezrahite, and Heman, and Chalcol, and Darda, and the sons of Mahal. And his fame was in all the nations around about. And he spake three thousand proverbs, and his songs were a thousand and five. And he spake of trees, from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon, even unto the hyssop that springeth out of the wall. And he spake also of beasts, and of fowl, and of creeping things, and of fishes. And there came of all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon, from all kings of the earth, which had heard of his wisdom. 1 Kings 4, 29-34 KJV The possibilities of a life that is plugged into divine wisdom is beyond comparison. Great and productive ideas or innovations flow from those that live wisely. Solomon operated with great wisdom. As a result, his results were inspiring. And God is always willing to do the same in the life of anyone who is willing to walk in his wisdom. In fact, his desire is that such rich flow of wisdom will be the lifestyle of all of his children. The invitation is open, as we saw earlier, and it is this. God does not want us to live unproductive lives. All we need to do at each stage is seek and ask, and He has promised to give. Ask and you will receive. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened for you. Matthew 7, 7, GW We must not hesitate to take His offer of wisdom so as to live out our glorious destinies without regrets while accomplishing great things that give joy and positive impact to others. Let us pray. My precious Father, the all-wise God, the one who freely pours out the wisdom I require to live my life, I have come to thank you for the awesome privilege of this great gift of wisdom. Thank you for not allowing me to grope my way through life. Thank you for always providing light on my path. I receive grace to key into the wisdom guides you have placed on my path in life, so as to make the most of my destiny. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen.